Welcome back YouTube. I trust this professional camera right here. So today I'm going to continue the saddle hunting stuff with more stuff about saddle hunting. So this is kind of do you want to upgrade your gear? So when I got into saddle hunting everyone's like I'll buy this. I, I went online got me a saddle. You know gotta get the saddle first. Bought some things then ran it and then I've upgraded slowly over time. This is kind of a video coming out saying things that maybe looking back I would have just bought out of the gate or and give you the pros and cons of all of it. So uh, first off I want to go over probably the place I saved the most money. I mean the most money on. Wasn't even close was the tethered and lineman's belt. So these are the ones I ran before. This is this right here, which by the way, if you use this, uh, you're taking your own life in hand because this is not what this was designed for. But this is a uh, Hunter Safety Solutions or Solutions rope tether, but it's not made made for weight bearing. So if you like use it for a saddle, you voided the warranty and not what it's supposed to. These are I think on Amazon. I bought this for like 15 bucks, but this, but I got this over something like this. This is a tethered, uh, this is actually their expensive version. This is an eight millimeter tether. Okay. Both same thing. Persic knot and then a, a uh, carabiner. Same thing here, Prusik knot, carabiner. This thing is rated for you to use as a tree saddle tether. I'm just going by what's, if you sit with this thing, again, you are not, that's a fall, that's on you. That is your fault, that's not what this was designed for, what this is. You probably paid for some insurance on that. But, if you see the, and here's, so here's why I upgraded to this and why I if you have the money I would tell say go over and upgrade to this because here's why this is you know maybe you can get a little tighter look how this thing's heavier and bulkier so that takes up almost one of your little pouches on the side of your belt this one On top of being lighter, so much smaller. Also, when you're trying to move and adjust, this one, you know, this one adjusts very easy, but when you put some weight on it, like so, it's not moving. But, I don't know, kind of rope it is, it's a little slicker. You take just a little weight off it, it loosens, and you can move it again. So if you want to adjust up in the tree, this adjusts easier. The Hunter Safety Solution one. Like, remember, there is no weight on this. It runs a lot tighter. Now, and it's heavier and it's not covered in warranty, but $15. These are 60, like $65, I think. Maybe 60, maybe 60 bucks. I think it was 60 bucks. I got this in a lineman's belt in this. Lighter, 60 bucks. So I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you if you want to, if you're really tight on a budget, you can get this. Buy the saddle, get this, save a bunch of money. If you want to run lighter and faster, use this. I'm going to use this also because I got my lineman's belt put away. And she's using it as reference. Okay, I would buy this. Here is the Hunter Safety. I think it even says right there. Yeah, Hunter Safety System Solutions. Uh, and this is a climbing or uh, lineman's belt. Has two carabiners. 
right there and it has your metal adjuster right there it was like another 20 25 dollars uh this actual cord i don't mind this is light you can set into it doesn't have any give this sucker right here adjusts awesomely it really does i know you just like this metal piece right here actually it's very easy to adjust that's awesome this this thing works great uh price lightweight or not lightweight price the only problem is the weight it is heavy it's got two metal carabiners and a metal deal there i know this it's the same this is the tethered not the ropeman line they're essentially this they're, they're almost identical i actually can't find the act i'll get it out that's right here here's the actual ropeman line ropeman's belt sorry ropeman's belt from tethered Again, same thing with the lineman's belt. These adjust great. I know people like to use the Ropeman ones. Man, these Prusik knots, I found these things adjust perfect. I don't, I don't need one, I, so I want to take the extra weight. Tether did give me this huge carabiner to go on it. So whatever. Uh, again, sixty dollars, twenty dollars. So you could get. If weight is not as big of an issue, maybe you're a hang-on guy, or maybe you're just getting into this, man, I'm, I'm, and you're like, man, I, I'm only going to use this once or twice a year. But you're talking, you can get both of these for less than one of these. But the weight is significantly different. Like, this has a lot of weight to it. Um, so... That one, I'm just going to leave up to you guys, whether you want to upgrade or leave it. Uh, again, money is no issue. Buy the stuff. If it isn't, go ahead and buy that stuff. These, I'm telling you, I ran these. These were comfortable and worked. They're just heavy. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just heavy, and I wanted something different. Okay. Now, here. I'm going to do this because I put... These are some... I also bought some dump pouches so this is a dump pouch off amazon and i'm going to try to show it to you without flinging it stuff everywhere this is the tethered dump pouch and i've got a trophy line pouch so this trophy line one that came with my trophy line saddle it's not bad zipper really lightweight opens way up that's why i kept it on you know, I can get really into it. I really like how wide this is. I can get right into it when I'm climbing. Uh, this, the tethered, and this is their newest dump pouch. They probably have a fancy word for it, name for it. I'm calling it a dump pouch because that's what it is. This thing is huge, just giant. I mean, I can fit, and again, ultra lightweight. I've got ropes my te my tether is in there this is my line to pull stuff up with just tons of stuff in here just it's amazing how big that is you can fit more stuff in this stuff then i have like i said the dump pouch the tactical dump pouch with molly on the back of it this is something i would highly recommend you just go ahead and buy through Pick your company, whether you want the trophy line or not. This one, it has the pull strings up here. Again, double molly. Uh, but I found it overall smaller to use. Just over, It actually is heavier when it gets wet. It retains water because these are all mesh. And these even have three pockets on the outside. I, I highly I would just go ahead and buy that or the trophy line version or the whatever your saddle company buy that don't cheap out on it I did and now I'm upgrading I have a use for these these are going into a different system I'll probably do another video on but uh, coming down the pipe but buy those buy those they're I think these were like 10 15 dollars these are like 20 
buy those. Just spend the extra five dollars. Don't don't cheap out on that. Okay. Now another one that the internet swears in the saddle company or saddle hunters. Man, we we think you we you have to upgrade your buckles. Now this is because these just came with the trophy line sticks, and I run two, so this one's been sitting at the house. Versus a daisy chain, and you can put in a rope mod. You can put in whatever. Pick your poison. Rope mods, uh, whoopee sling, rope men want or you know. I'm, I'm using these because I have these these daisy chains. This is something. Yes, this is lighter. Yes, you can get these pretty tight, and maybe if you know how to work it right and hit the right tree, you might even get these things as tight as this. Maybe, maybe even a little tighter if you can get the right leverages. Uh, this pros of this it comes with your sticks comes with your platform and that's where I'm gonna say it needs to be it needs to stay with your stuff uh, we could run more we could you, you you could run more stuff with it but I I don't see why I just stick with this unless you're a guy that's like I have to shed more pounds then you could go with these. These are going to be like thirty-five dollars, maybe even up to forty. You know, you get. I, I can't remember honestly. It doesn't matter. These are not a necessity, especially when you already have these. Just get some. Uh, I've got. I'll do a video of some self strips, or you can even do like go buy a bicycle tire. I've seen uh, the DIY at Sportsman. He, he has one for a, a bike tire you can put on over it. Again, I don't recommend upgrading over these. Just it, take the extra pound of weight and go unless you... only reason I would upgrade is to these are just if you must have, if you are that going that far or that pound could mean you bringing in a water bottle, uh, some type of food. Just if, if you're in that scenario where you're like, I am going out all day, you know, it's going to be a three mile hike. Well, then, and I have money, do it. Uh, this doesn't compute to way out. It's not like the tethered and lineman's belt where I'm like, okay, you're paying a lot more, but you're getting a lot more. I don't feel like you're getting that much more for these. So, Again, my mileage, I don't think they're worth upgrading. Stick with these unless you get some more money. You can try it out. And then the last thing I've got for this video that I up added is I got me a pair of suspenders for my tree saddle. Okay. Now. These are just the Dickies. This is just the Dickies suspenders. I like this because I had a problem last year. I was running a heavier load out. Now, mind you, I was running a much heavier carry out, but this saddle kept falling down as I was walking and then it become a pain. No matter how much, how tight I got this, the saddle would just start sagging, you know. So I just got me a pair of suspenders, locked them in the back off Amazon, like 15 bucks. This is a mod you can do. And I had to run some paracord to fatten this sucker up so that way this can't come out. But I can still adjust my I can still adjust my belt because this is the because this is my tethered mantis. I'm not upgrading from the mantis to the phantom few ounces on the saddle's not gonna and I found this to be super comfortable anyway. Tether does make a pair of suspenders. They're $24. I think that was $15. I would probably buy tethers, but they're out of stock, or at least last I checked at the time of making this video. I just buy theirs so you don't have to mess with the mod. So that is my experience in upgrading some stuff. And I really think the ropes, if you can take the weight 
and you want to save money, go with that one. If you have the money, these are really nice to have. Buy the pouch, buy your dump pouches and stuff through the companies. Not worth going to Amazon and trying to figure out if that dump pouch is the same size or bigger for about the same price. And then I would say is keep your uh, buckles. Just keep your buckles. Don't even bother with the rest of it. So, all right, this has been another informational video on saddle hunting, which I will be destroyed because there are more and more experienced saddle hunters than me on the market. And if I said something that doesn't go with your version of saddle hunting, then don't be upset. I'm never going to do a one stick SRT climbing. I'm not interested in SRT climbing or DRT or what any of those. I'm not interested in one sticking. I'm discovering my system as it is now and I'm liking it. I'm becoming better at it. And I'm sharing my tips for anyone getting into saddle hunting. Saddle hunting is great because you can do it your own way and figure out what works for you. And these are some tips if you're starting. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like the information in this video, subscribe. It really helps us out. Get out, practice with your gear, practice through your equipment, and become proficient in everything you do. See you in the next video.